kind of come full circle on this whole closet purging thing. It has now been two weeks exactly since I did it. Um, kind of three weeks since I originally started thinking about it in my head and planning for it. Um, but I thought that I would share with you my top tips for um, preparing and going through your clothes, both physically and mentally. Okay, no makeup. This is kind of a no-brainer, but think about it. When you go to the store, if you try like a white t-shirt on or whatever, you kind of need to be really careful to not get your lipstick or your foundation on the step. So just shower. Don't even put deodorant on. Just shower. Make your body clean so that you can try on all the stuff. And that sounds kind of gross, but better than getting deodorant all over your stuff or getting like a white mark or whatever. Um, so yeah, don't wear makeup. Clean face, clean body. Use a fan. So if it is a hot season like it is when I did it, it was August. Uh, yeah, August into September. Have a fan um, next to you if you need it, just so if you get hot, then you're not sweating on the clothes. You don't need to worry about it. You can go through those clothes really quickly. So it's kind of a random tip, but keep some scissors nearby so you can cut the tags off of stuff. I know sometimes I have like sheer blouses that have like a tag on the side of it and you know, you might not even think about it, but sometimes I don't wear things because I'm like, oh, that has a tag and it shows and it looks funny. Just cut it off, you know? It's not that hard. So just have some nearby so that you can not only get rid of stuff that you're not going to wear, but make the stuff that you do have wearable. Wear a nude bra and undies. Uh, this is a tip that I feel like goes hand in hand with just life in general as well. I feel like nude tops and underwear go well with almost everything except like black. black. Sometimes if you have like a picture and there's a flash, you can like see it through your shirt. So, but otherwise, like when you're going through, if you wear the same color as your skin or clothes, then you're not um, swayed one way or the other as far as just the color of the stuff. You can actually see what color it is. And they're versatile, so you're not going to need to be trying different colored undergarments with different colored clothing. And that even goes for strapless things as well. I just wore it and then I just put my hair over it and I'm like, oh, this is how this would look. Yeah, have a camera nearby. Um, I just used my phone so I could take pictures in the mirror I was using so that if I did want to sell something, bam, I already had it on, already had it modeled, good to go. Then you can just take your pictures of it hanging or on the sheet, you know, later worry about that later but I like to model my clothes I like for people to see what it looks like I like to see what clothes look like on so just do yourself a favor snap it you're done my last tip is have some shoes to try on I have like one dress that had like roses on it and it was kind of frilly I'm like why do I never like to wear this so I had some wedges and I had some silver sandals and I tried on one with each looked in the mirror it's like oh my goodness I love that I hate that so have some shoes nearby that can help you convince yourself whether or not you will wear it and what you'll wear it with. Now as far as your mindset goes, um, before I started doing this, I watched a ton of YouTube videos, which I said in the beginning of this um, series, but the ratio that they said to do was to keep three and get rid of two. Now with my numbers, it ended up being almost one to one ratio. I actually got rid of 127 things and kept 123 things. Now it's not including undergarments, that is including swimsuits, that is including like t-shirts from high school or college or just random things. So I did get rid of a lot of things. And along with that, like some of those t-shirts or things that were like worn out, if I could repurpose them, I put them in a pile to fix, repurpose. And I've been doing those as well, working on those. So I'm so excited to wear them because they're like new pieces now. So whether to sell or not totally depends on your lifestyle. If you are a minimalist, you just want to get stuff out, just do it. Um, if you need the money for something, you can work for it later. You can sell something else later. It's okay. Um, for me personally, I really wanted to get some new clothes, um, some neutrals to supplement my wardrobe. So I did end up selling some things on Facebook and Mercari and Poshmark, and I'll put those links down below. I love those. Um, I did that. I did some Plato's Closet. But again, 
you're gonna have more clutter if you're gonna hold on to them to sell them. So if your goal is to just declutter, get them out and not get any money back, just do it. You won't regret it. Along with that, think about your lifestyle when you're going through your clothes. You know, like I work at a daycare, so I need lots of casual stuff that can get stained, can get paint on it, can get, you know, vomit on it, get babies spit up on it and not worry about it. But also I like to dress up and go out, I like to wear heels, I like to feel glamorous and girly. So I have a good mix of stuff. So think about now, think about in the near future, and then think about how far out will it be till your lifestyle changes? Could you buy new stuff then? Along with that, think about some styles that you want to copy. If you've used Pinterest before this, or if you're using Pinterest as you do this or after, notice what kind of statement pieces you are loving so that you can just put them on your list, your wish list. I have like a list of like 10 things now, but then you'll actually wear them because you've been preparing for them, you have things to already wear with them, and it's not a waste of money in the long run. When you are deciding to get rid of an item, um, again, I ask myself, does this bring me joy? And would I buy it right now? Would I buy Another question to ask yourself along with that is, does it have negative memories? I have some, um, like I had one dress, for example, that I had a negative experience at work in, and I just every time I looked at it, it was a gorgeous dress, but I just thought of that negative experience. So get rid of it, somebody else will love it, whether they buy it or you donate it to somebody, like somebody else can love it. You don't need to hoard it for no reason. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video series if you made it all the way through. Um, this was so much fun for me to film. I said like usually I film makeup videos and I'm gonna be doing that too, but oh my goodness, YouTube is so fun. It's so fun to like watch videos and then make my own version of it and just get creative and have fun. So let me know if you've purged your closet or if you need some other tips. I would love to talk about it with you personally. Thanks again for watching and be blessed.